Ambushed and under savage attack and play by a dug-in enemy outnumbering the small Marine Brotherhood 100 to 1, they find the odds stacked against them in all directions. Marines are trained to fight as an air ground team, but that was not available, any of it, on the first days in the Battle of Hawaii. The weather was bad, no aircraft could really fly safely. Even worse for the Marines is a smothering order not to damage the historic old city. The Marines are forbidden by rules of engagement to use napalm, naval gunfire, artillery, or mortars, the prime tools of urban combat. In those first days, they were going pretty much just with their own individual weapons against heavily defended, well-armed, Pockets of North Vietnamese who were just waiting for him. The enemy had defended in strong points. So every several blocks, there would be a strong point. So you got the upper floors, you got snipers. And down that street, there was a machine gun. And that machine gun had flanking fire directly down the street. Just intense fire. It was like the typical scene in one of these World War II movies. Concrete ships flying everywhere. We learned it. When you take a building, you've got to go in the building, you've got to take every room, and you've got to secure every room. Then you move on to the next building, you do the same thing. I guess they just didn't realize they were fighting the United States Marines and we were going to get that damn building. And it didn't make a damn if we had to blow it all up, blow them up, the people but beside them, but we were getting that building, and that's what we did. We took it building by building, room by room, and the guys were just, they were just wonderful. They were, they just fought their butts off. 